I am Ace of Space of Win, and welcome back to part 21 of the Nowhere Heroes playthrough, where we're about to take on the ranked free assassin. Well, apparently it's just an old biddy, so I can't imagine this being too much trouble. I mean, oh my god! You know what? No! No, I ain't touching this shit. I ain't touching it with a 20 foot pole unless you give me a good reason. Thunder Ryu? What the hell are you doing in the ranked fads? Did, did Sylvia promise you sex as well if you became rank 1? Me. I could have sworn I'd forgotten something. Oh yeah, the giant death beam. Smart idea. It's looking a bit one-sided, this fight. Obviously, Thunder Ryu didn't follow the lesson of paying attention. Yeah, it's stupid, like fighting giant death beams. <laughs> Never thought I'd see a sad and even emotional moment in this game. Oh god damn it! No! Where the hell am I gonna get my discount training from now? Master! I wonder if a cat can get done for manslaughter. Well, there's only one thing to do now vengeance! Here she is, although, although I don't know how the shopping cart killed him. That's <laughs> like something else, sir. What a waste of good shopping. I asked if you were ranked oh third. god, this is like the retarded trying to talk to the b deaf and... Okay, you know, you should really start paying attention, Travis. Okay, now this is starting to make a bit more sense. Actually, I wonder if she's pretending to be deaf to get this set up. Oh, this is good. Come on. Huh. And I thought it was men that did this kind of thing. I guess women have insecurities too. Somebody got rejected when she was young. Oh, 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 that's a horrible, oh, that's an even horrible, more horrible angle. Oh, oh, please can we please pan away. I ain't gonna sleep well tonight. Okay, this is a rank three fight. Can I really call it? Oh, call it that? Oh dear, it's more like a game of cat and mouse, really. So the gimmick for this fight, at least I guess I can call it that, is of course she's going to keep shooting that giant death beam down the corridor. So what you need to do is you need to take cover with one of the f many buildings that are built into the side here. As long as you get away before the beam comes down, you will not get hurt by it. Of course, some of these uh, rooms might have doors on, which will slow you down, so you got to take precautions with that. Actually, the different doors um, have different strengths. For instance, the I believe the white doors are the weakest. The red doors that you saw take like two hits, and then I believe the other ones take like five hits to destroy, so you really need to hurry up with those, or just completely forget about trying to get through them altogether, if you can maybe even avoid them. But this is pretty much it. I mean, maybe the first time going through it can be pretty hard, you know, because you don't know where to go and whatnot. But just pay attention to your surroundings and you can pretty much take your time with this fight. Just make sure you don't stand in the middle of the giant death beam. Uh, I will say though that if you do get hit by it, it isn't an instant game of us. But you just want to try and avoid it at all possible. Uh. But uh, speaking of the assassin herself, Speedbuster, there is actually very little known about the 76 year old assassin apart from the fact that she's apparently going deaf in her old age and is the oldest ranked assassin within the association. Unfortunately that's all I have information on her. And her weapon being the Mega Buster I believe it's called. No actually I don't think it's called that, it's like the Egg Buster, it's something like that, something comically hilarious. Now as you can see here there are goons which can also hide in this level and can attack you but they have the disadvantage of disintegrating automatically if they're hit by that beam. So if you come across any of them try and knock them into the hallway and just watch them get evaporated. Oh, I love seeing manless destruction. <laughs> oh I'm not in a good place at the moment, what the hell am I doing? You keep laughing, I'll get to you sooner or later, bitch. Oh, uh, come on! Get through the door! Oh! 
But um, yeah, a lot of people don't like this fight because of the weird gimmick and the fact that you don't technically fight her. But I always did like this one, you know, just to switch it up. I mean, considering the fact that the levels aren't getting any more, um, you know, unique as we go through this game. It's not bad, not my favourite, but you know, it was a nice chip. Ugh, now if we can just get past this giant death beam, let's uh, see if I can get anywhere. Oh, oh god, I don't think I'm going to make it. Come on. Oh wait, shit's a green door. Oh, ah! Remember me as a kind person who didn't swear excessively? Oh, thank god for that. Um, yes, but if you get hit by the beam, you need to rapidly tap A to stop any excessive damage being taken towards you. That was not smart in the slightest. Now, depending on what difficulty you're playing, the amount of damage taken off by that beam will be different. So on easy, you won't take off that much damage. But in bitter, if you get hit by it, you are seriously going to be near critical level if you take get stay for too long. I uh, can't believe I got hit by the bee. Oh. This is Space of Wind. would like to apologize in advance for any retarded gameplay while watching his playthroughs. Oh, seriously though, I, I always do so well in this level as well. I mean, every time I play, I never seem to get hit, even when I'm playing on bitter mode, but god damn it. So terrible to do. And I would also like to point out this rocking fiend tune for the boss theme of Speed Buster is, oddly enough, called Mark 13 Elephant Explosion. Which I think actually describes the woman pretty well, if you ask me. Or when she's trying to go to the toilet. Now, when you get close to Speed Buster, you'll notice that the succession of each beam becomes much quicker, and meaning you won't be able to get close enough to her to deliver the final blow. So what you need to do, instead of retardedly trying to run up the passageway, hoping to get past her, you need to come over to the left side of her and attack this telephone pole. And by doing so, you'll put a cog in the works, so to speak. Demonstrated here. <laughs> Kill my master, will you, you bitch? You're going to be following him soon enough. That's pretty much it. That's how you defeat her. Knock over a telephone pole. Thrilling boss battles! I think that's the reason though why everyone doesn't like this fight, uh, or at least the ones that do don't like this fight, because I mean it's just so easy to get past her and it's not really much of a fight as long as you dodge her. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Revenge is close at hand. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, you know that is kinda pretty badass from Travis for once. Power. Pretty good boy. Damn right. Don't get too close, it might bite your head off. Just looks hungry. He was a good man and I hope one day What? I thought you said you hated old men, and I thought you said you hated him. Stop contradicting yourself! Oh, you did not just do that. You have d damaged my skin and there is only one punishment. Death. Okay, of course, like in the American version, the American version, her head gets sliced up. But what I liked about that particular version was the fact that it showed the view from her head, you know, her eyesight when it, as the head fell. So that made it pretty cool. This one, it's not as good, but then again, most of the scenes are. Well, never a boss fight done, although it wasn't technically a fight. More like a uh, <laughs> Dodge the Giant Death Beam game. Ooh, looks like we've got another prize here. Japanese katana. Oh, Thunder Ryu love Japanese katanas. Oh, my discount days are over. Now we have to pay full price for my training. Oh, after you've got your heart piece, no, 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 no. Let's just go and see what Sylvia has to say. Nothing good, I presume. She never does. Congratulations, you are officially ranked. Well, okay, apart from that. When are we ever going to get to see that Gaz face? I bet he's the most handsome dude on earth or something. Or like if you just stare at it, you'll, you'll turn to stone. What? You mean excessively gory? Hell yeah, I love that kind of shit. Oh, and it's everyone's favourite time again. Well, okay, only my favourite time. I don't think anyone else likes it, but I certainly do. I love this retro screen. Actually, speaking of retro, another of the new things in uh, No More Heroes 2, all the mini games, or at least, you know, sad jobs like the scorpion collecting, collecting cats, coconuts, whatever, they're all going to be proper 8 bit 
retro mini games in the next one, so I don't think they'll be as tedious. At least for the funny value, will be pretty cool to watch. Uh, I take a well-deserved rest on the throne, and I think we'll just wrap this part up with the telephone messages. Huh? To think this will be one of the last uh, telephone messages now as well. We really are coming to the end of the game. What a shame. Hello, Diane. To return one of our videos. It's titled 69 Techniques to Improve Your Lovemaking. It's, it's the 69th one that makes you a god in bed. Or oh, the other 68 are bullshit. You know the drill. Go get em. Well, I guess that's sort of improved from last time. Oh, well, join me in part 22 when we go and take on the rank 2 mission. Till next time.